Guys, this is Brian with Turpicanic. I'm wearing my dumb orange shirt. This is my shirt that I'm going to be wearing all year this year when I'm spraying chemicals on the lawn. This is the only time I ever wear it. I don't like spraying chemicals on the lawn, but I do have to do it. Right here in my backyard, I've sprayed nothing. I've applied no weed killer or, or chemical herbicide of any kind since I lived in this house for the past, what, 16 months or so. However, this year I'm going to finally start doing the lawn transformation back here. What you see back here is mostly kikuyu grass, a whole bunch of weeds, some clover, and a bit of Bermuda. I want to say this. Generations ago, the vast majority of lawns, like all lawns, had clover in them. In fact, if you went off to the store to buy grass seed, you would buy grass seed and clover seed would be mixed into it. Somewhere along the way, we started trying to kill weeds and most of the herbicides that were produced would kill the weeds, but it would also kill the clover. And there's an enormous amount of value in having clover in a lawn. And I understand that a lot of people don't want to have clover in their lawn, but I'm gonna guess that if you're watching this video, you just wanna learn about lawns and grass, or you literally wanna have a good looking lawn without weeds, but you don't wanna kill the clover. Now, I do have videos on this channel about how to kill clover without using chemicals. Typically, I've used iron head to, to do this. This is a special kind of chelated iron that goes down onto the lawn. The chelation, like the way that science works, is that it doesn't affect the grass because the grass is a monocot plant and weeds typically are dicot plants, including clover. So if you put iron head on the ground, it's going to kill dicot plants. So if you want to kill weeds in the lawn, but not the clover, you can't put down iron head -ta. So for the most part, you're limited to literally manually cultivating the lawn and hand weeding everything out. Of course, you're going to be bringing weed seeds back up. You're probably going to have to start doing the same battle over and over and over again for years. If you do want the clover in the, in the lawn, if you see the value in it and the fact that it is a nitrogen fixating agent, like it grabs nitrogen from the sky, deposits it in the ground, and it self-fertilizes the lawn. It keeps things green when your grass doesn't really want to be green all of the time. There's a lot of value in having clover out there. You have flowers. Bees love flowers. We all love bees. Who doesn't love a bee? I suppose there's a few people out there that could die by bees. But you know, that's beside the point. If you want to kill the weeds in your lawn, but you don't want to kill the clover, you kind of have to get used to applying some form of herbicide unless you're going to be hand weeding an entire lawn space all year, every year. Certainly that's possible if you have a teeny tiny lawn, but most people, and I don't even consider my lawn to be gigantic, but most people have lawns that make that way too difficult. 2,4-D is, as far as I know, the only acceptable chemical herbicide that you can spray on the lawn to kill off broadleaf weeds. Not everything. There's going to be some broadleaf weeds that 2,4-D isn't going to touch. There's going to be some other kinds of weeds, grassy weeds, that it's not going to touch. There's going to be some miscellaneous undesirables in the lawn that it's not going to touch. But it is a fairly broad spectrum herbicide. It's mixed into three-way and four-way herbicides all of the time to kill off more undesirables in our lawn. But it's never put into mixtures for the purpose of killing clover. Because so many people these days want to have a pristine, perfect lawn free of anything other than turf grass, 2,4-D has to be mixed with other stuff to literally get rid of the clover. If you run off to any big box store, just think about the handful of big box stores within five minute radius of your house. Any of them. They all have off-the-shelf products. And if you look at the ingredients label on all of them, nearly every one of them has 2,4-D mixed with other things in it. Instead of buying that stuff on the shelf, literally purchase 2,4-D specifically, only 2,4-D, and use that as your only chemical herbicide for the lawn. Now, I don't want you to spray this all over the lawn constantly, all the time. I'm not going to do it, but I am going to do it right now because I do have burr clover in this lawn. Now, a lot of people have white clover or red clover or some other kind of clo clover. I have California burr clover. And although I don't really like the California burr clover because it's got physical burrs, things that will get stuck in my dog's feet and my little kids that are running around barefoot, uh, I don't want the burrs there. But because I need to kill off a lot of the weeds in this lawn prior to overseeding the lawn with fescue, I need to apply something 
to get rid of some of the weeds because I can't put down a pre-emergent this year. So to take advantage of this opportunity, I'm going to put T4D on this gigantic patch. I, I don't know if gigantic is the right word. It's like, I don't know, it's like a five by five patch, like 25 square feet. I haven't cut this area over here in about one month. It's gangly. It's wildly overgrown. The clover that's in it is bushy. You can clearly see that there's lots of different kinds of weeds in there. And that's a good representation of the rest of the yard. Now, the rest of the yard doesn't look so bad right now. However, I haven't mowed the lawn in about five days compared to about one month. If I were to let the whole lawn go just for weeks on end, everything would look bushy and you would literally see all of the weeds. They'd be going nuts. I have bur clover all throughout the yard. It's not dense most places, but I do have it everywhere. So I'm going to do this one area up close. I've got another area right over here that's extremely dense clover that I've cut down. Like I've cut it with a mower. So it's not bushy like you see back here. But I'm going to spray everything. These two spots I'm going to give you close-ups on with, uh, with after shots down the road. That way you can see how the grass doesn't die and most of the weeds die, but the clover goes completely untouched. To do this job well, you sh really should be wearing long sleeves, pants. I like to wear boots. In case there's any minimal wind drift down on the ground, I don't want it to get on the bottom of my pants. It's easier to clean off rubber boots. And when I go to spray, I'm going to put some rubber gloves on. 2,4-D is a controversial herbicide, as are many of the herbicides that are out there, especially for the folks that don't want to spray herbicides. Everything is controversial. I get that. 2,4-D has the potential of being worse for the environment, for humans and animals. I'm not a scientist. I can't tell you why, but this is the case. This is the studies that I've seen. It's potential to be worse than other things. Even more hot button topic brand names like Roundup. Scientists out there can decide and debate back and forth which one is better than the other, which herbicide is safer than the other. That's not my place. I just try to use these things as infrequently as I possibly can, and I try to apply them as intelligently, smartly, and safely as I can. As you can see, I've got children's play equipment. I've taken them all off the lawn. The kids are not out here. I've got behind me. I've got my dog kennel. The dogs are off the side. They will not be allowed to be in the backyard for at least the next day, day and a half. And of course, the children are not going to be playing back here at all for at least the next couple days. Rule of thumb is that you shouldn't be applying herbicides of any kind, 2,4-D included, to a lawn that is that is wet. So you need to be doing this on sunny days when everything is completely dry. You need to be doing this on days where you haven't mowed the grass in at least two days. Here, I haven't mowed anything in about four. And you shouldn't be doing this just before a rain or if you're planning on mowing it tomorrow. You need to wait at least a couple more days to mow the grass again. You should also be applying this in warm spring weather, not summer weather, and you shouldn't be doing this in cold weather, whether it be early spring, late winter, extremely late fall. Currently, it's about 70 degrees outside. Everything is dry. This is the perfect environment to apply this. It's even late in the afternoon, which means all of this lawn, everything, all of the weeds, they've been growing, trying to grab that sun. They're all in that vibrant stage of day. And boom, just like that, 30 days has passed, a full month. Let's go take a look at the yard and see if we can find any weeds, see if we can find any clover. <laughs> I already know that there's clover all over the place, but other weeds are very hard to find. All right, I'm going to take you over there. I'm going to make this quick. I do want you to know that I have not mowed this grass in five days. The purpose for that is to make it easier to find weeds. Once you cut them with the mower, it's literally harder to find them. Let's start heading over here, right out of the gate. Look at all that. Clover. Even a little flower. Clover. This is a fairly dense patch of clover here. All of this was sprayed with 2,4-D 30 days ago. That's going to continue developing and spreading. Clover. 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 And the little one is clover in there too. Yeah. Poop and mushrooms. There's more clover. Or more clover. This is as we're getting into the patch that I let 
get extremely overgrown before I did all of the spraying. I'm gonna get my shadow out of the way. Oh, I'm looking at that clover in this overgrown patch. Doesn't look overgrown anymore because I've been mowing it. Clover's everywhere. Even got flowers down here. There's more. There's more. Actually, that one might not be clover. That is a different weed. It is very hard to find other weeds in the lawn right now. There's a few stragglers. Anyway, I continue going through the lawn and finding little patches of clover everywhere. What is important to note is that the grass is growing faster than the clover is right now. So what that tells me is that if you're going to put the 2,4-D down on the clover, it's probably not going to kill it all off, but it is going to stunt it. It might shrink back. You might have a significantly less dense patch of clover, but it's not going to die altogether. And then everything that's still there is going to resume growth after at least a month or so. I don't know, maybe it started growing again last week. I didn't check. The point here is if you're going to spray 2,4-D on clover, you're probably going to stunt it. You're going to slow down its growth. It might shrink a little bit, but then eventually it will start regrowing again. My educated guess here is that if I start mowing the grass like normal and go a whole nother month, every single patch of clover that I could find in the lawn right now is going to be significantly more dense uh, next month. You also notice that I can almost not find any other weeds in this lawn. There are a few, but hardly any. And the one thing that you do see all over this lawn is poa annua. Poa annua is that stuff that looks like grass because it is grass, but it has those little like white silvery uh, flower tops or seed head tops on top of the grass. It's all over this lot. 2,4-D is not going to kill that. It is an annual grass. It will die on its own. If you want to prevent that grass, then that's something that's a product that you put down in the fall. I'm not going to do anything about it here in this backyard because it's going to go away completely on its own. For clover, however, if I want to maintain clover in this yard, I don't have to worry about it. It's going to come back. We're going to have an awful lot less weeds. Now, one other interesting fact about 2,4-D is that although it's not going to kill the clover, it is going to kill dandelions. Now, a lot of people like dandelions in the lawn. There's my daughter. Say hi. <laughs> now, a lot of people like dandelions in the lawn, but a lot of people don't. Certainly, the yellow flowers are beautiful, but once they've spent their seeds, then you get these little flower stalks sticking up, making the lawn look really ugly because there's no flower on them anymore. 2,4-D will kill dandelions. And I got an entire video up here demonstrating how this happens. If you do have a lawn with clover in it and you don't want to get rid of the clover, but you want to deal with weeds, including dandelions, take a look at this video next. And of course, links to products. There's nothing special. It's just any 2,4-D works, but a link to the product that I used in this video is in the description below.